Would you really want father government to have the last say about what happens in schools? How about the village that sends your elementary age child home with a comic book including graphic displays of sexual grooming? I'm here to speak on behalf of our children and I'm here to say that we need to reject the ideology of equity in our schools. No mask mandates. My child, my children will not come to school on Monday with a mask on. All right, that's not happening. And I will bring every single gun loaded and ready. Wow. Well, good evening, everyone. We begin the readout tonight with, with those angry moms that you hear so much about, yelling and screaming about vaccines and children's books that don't do enough to rub the founding father's bellies or that dare to mention black or gay people, and who, just like that last parent you heard, got so incensed over mask wearing to protect against COVID, some of them threatened intimidation and violence towards school officials. Which brings us to one of the greatest crises we face today, violence in our schools, as well as in our, our hospitals, grocery stores, places of worship, and just today at a cemetery during a funeral in Racine, Wisconsin. There is a lot of gun violence today in America, too much, more than in any rich country on earth, and far too little being done about it. Which, which had me thinking, where are those angry moms now? Why aren't they protesting or running for school board and organized gangs to protect the kids from getting shot in school massacres? Isn't, isn't this a bigger child protection issue than Toni Morrison books? I mean, it's almost like their protests were really just political theater and not about protecting the kids at all. Because what could be more important when it comes to protecting children than trying, at least trying, to stop these mass shootings? I mean, the kids are sick of it. They are marching and walking out of school. The teachers are sick of it. So bring on the angry moms, right? Where did they go?